So in this video, we are going to look into the calculation of molecular weight, okay, or average molecular weight. For polymer, usually during polymerization process, not all polymer chains will grow to the same length. And this results in distribution of various chain lengths, or we call as molecular weight. So we're going to have um, in the production of polymer, they will always um, occurrences of chain with lower molecular weight, um, bulky chain with higher molecular weight, and chains which are in the middle with moderate molecular weight. So that's why for polymer, we are more interested to calculate the average molecular weight due to various various length of chains that produce in the process. So there are actually many ways to calculate the average molecular weight, but for your for, for your syllabus, we are going only to cover two types. The first one is what we call as number average molecular weight. So the number average molecular weight is obtained by dividing the chains into a series of size ranges, like with lower M, higher M, middle M, and then determine the number fraction of chains within each size range. Like for the lower M, you have your own number fraction, and you have higher M, you have your own number fraction. So this average number average molecular weight can be calculated using this formula which equals to the summation of the multiplication of xi times mi. So xi here is the fraction of the total number of chains within the corresponding size range, and mi is the mean molecular weight of size range i. So let's say you have a lot of size ranges, like 6 or 7. So for the first size range, this is the number fraction, and this is the um, mean molecular weight so you just have to multiply your fraction of the total number of chains times your mean molecular weight for the first size range and you repeat that for the second size range for the third size range and in total for the number average molecular weight you just sum up all your multiplication so we will look into this um, in an example which I will show later. So the second one is we call it weight average molecular weight. So weight average, we just substitute just now the xi with wi. And what is wi? Is the weight fraction of molecules within the same size interval or within the same size range. So this is the MW with average equals to the summation of WI MI. And this is based on the weight fraction of molecules within the various size ranges. Okay, another important um, features and or maybe an alternate way to express average chain size of a polymer is this one degree of polymerization or usually they will call it just DP okay and it represents the average number of repeat units in a chain so basically usually for companies or manufacturer they are very interested in the degree of polymerization because they would like to know the average estimation or average number of repeat units in certain change. So the formula to calculate this dp is given here which equals to mn over m. So mn is just the number average molecular weight, this one, divided with m. And m here is the repeat unit molecular weight. So let's look at one example here on how we can compute the number average molecular weight, the weight average molecular weight, and degree of polymerization for poly.
isopropylene. So given here in the table is the distribution of size chain or range of sizes uh, of certain certain chain. So this is like from the smallest to the highest molecular weight size range and also given the number fraction and the weight fraction so this is the number fraction for this size range and this one is the um, weight fraction for this size range so to calculate a we first need to calculate the mean molecular weight for each size range all right so we just these are the mean for the first range and this is the mean for the second range and so on so for the first one which is the number average molecular weight the formula is the multiplication the summation of xi times mi so all you have to do is just multiply this xi with mi for each of the size range and the total of everything here the total of the multiplication will be your answer for the first part which is 33,040 grams per mole where does this come from this is from xi times the mean molecular weight and 3200 is from xi times the mean molecular weight and as for the second part which is the weight average molecular weight you just have to do the same or the similar way only that for this one you need to multiply wi with mi meaning these values here in the second column wi with the mi so it's not shown here but you try to do that and the total of the multiplication will be the answer for the weight average molecular weight, which is 36,240 grams per mole. Okay, the last part is to calculate the degree of polymerization. So first and foremost, you need to identify the formula, which is dp equals to the which is the number average molecular weight divided by m m here is the repeat unit molecular weight so it's the molecular weight of the repeat unit or the monomer so for polypropylene this is the monomer which consists of um, <coughs> carbon three carbons and six hydrogen <coughs> so the molecular weight of the monomer is calculated here which is 42.08 grams per mole and the degree of polymerization <coughs> is just the number average molecular weight divided by the m just now so you will get 785 so this is the second example of calculation the question is the number average molecular weight of a poly Propylene, so this is MN number average is given here 1 million gram per mole. Compute the degree of polymerization, which is dp. So, first and foremost, you need to identify the formula for dp. So, this is the formula for dp. MN is given. This one you need to find out. This one is just the molecular weight of the monomer so for polypropylene this is the monomer the one that you have calculated just now so this is um, the atomic, atomic weight of hydrogen so you get 42.08 all right this is another example the question is, molecular weight data for some polymer are tabulated here. Okay, so here, this is the table. Compute A, the number average molecular weight, which is MN, 
B, the weight average molecular weight, which is MW. And the third one, if it is known that this material's degree of polymerization, DP, is 710, which one of the polymers listed below is this polymer? And then why? Okay, let's look at how to calculate A and B first. So given the table here, the molecular weight range or the size range that they have grouped um, together into uh, following their size ranges. And then they also give us this number fraction and the weight fraction. And it's just a matter of calculation, multiplication and get the total. So first and foremost, do not forget to calculate the average molecular weight for all size range. And then to calculate the number average molecular weight, you just have to times this with this and you will get this. Times this, times this, times 0 0.16, you'll get this. Okay? And so on and so on and so on. So the number average molecular weight is 73,800 grams per mole. And the second one is to calculate the um, weight average molecular weight. Again, you calculated your average molecular weight and then you have your uh, weight fraction and you just multiply your mean MI with WF. I, you will get the first one. This times 0.04, you get 1,500. And then you calculate the um, the total for all WIMI. So we can get 81,450 grams per mole. Okay, next question. We are now asked if the degree of polymerization, so given given dp in this uh, in this question dp is given as 710 which of the polymers in the list is this material so first of all you identify your formula for the dp and you know that from this formula you know your mn you know your dp so all you have to do of course you don't know your the molecular weight of the monomer so you just take your mn divided with your dp so you will get this as the m or the molecular weight of the monomer so if you compare this value to all of these values here you will notice that the polystyrene is the material probably the material for this since the repeat unit molecular weight of this polystyrene is the closest to what you calculated so the closest value to 103.94 actually comes from polystyrene closest value of molecular weight Right, so this shall be your reason on why you choose polystyrene to be the, um, the material. Thank you.